Last time we talked about what density is. Okay, and density, if you didn't watch it, you should go watch it, but if not, okay, density again is the mass of something divided by its volume. Okay, and so for instance, water, uh, if it's kind of cold uh, and normal conditions and everything, pure water is about one gram per milliliter. So if I had a milliliter of water, I'd have a gram of water. Okay? Now, Today, we're going to mess this all up and take a look at how things can kind of confuse us in science and hopefully by the end, we'll be able to use science to explain uh, things that are going on that don't look like they should happen. Okay, so what I've got today is I've got a jar of hot water and a jar of cold Again. water. I'm going to take some warm water and some cold water and I'm going to pour it into this special box. All right. Okay, warm and cold water sitting there in my box. And now I watch carefully while I draw up the middle screen. In fact, I'm going to get a piece of white paper to try and help you see what happens here. Ready? Here we go. Boom. As you can see, the blue all goes down to the bottom. Right? And the red stays up on the top. Okay. So what does that tell us about blue versus red water? Okay, nothing, because that's just the color I put in the water. But remember, the blue was cold and the red was hot water. Okay, so what does it tell you about water then? Cold water sinks so it is l more dense than hot water. This is why in the summertime, when you dive into a lake, as you go deeper, often the water will get colder because that colder water is more dense. It's going to be lower down in the, the depth of the lake. So you got to watch out about density. When you're dealing with temperatures, the density of things can change. So if you want to compare densities, we always want to compare uh, at the same temperature. All right? So uh, remember, if you're floating in the swimming pool, you are less dense than water. And if you're sinking, then you're more dense than water. See you later.